Today, I'm going to show you a do-it-yourself parasite cleanse concoction. I have to say, I hate parasites. You know why? Because they take, but they don't give back. Like at least friendly bacteria, they provide vitamins, immune protection, but a parasite is kind of like a little criminal. It takes something, it doesn't give anything back, and that definitely applies to these worms. Now, the most common parasite worm in Western Europe and United States is the pinworm. They're about a one centimeter long, and when you're exposed to them, the eggs can survive for a period of, I think, three weeks in your body, and then they actually hatch, and then they can even reproduce. And so they're pretty nasty. And so I'm going to show you a really good natural remedy that you can make on your own. I recently made mine. Not that I have pinworms, but I just want that remedy on the shelf. Now, 20% of children are going to get pinworms sometime in their life, probably from like nail biting or finger sucking. And 30% of the people who get pinworm have absolutely no symptoms. But for those that do get symptoms, the number one symptom is anal itching at night, okay? Number two, grinding of the teeth. Three, insomnia. Four, restlessness. Five, stomach pain and nauseousness. Six, bedwetting. And number seven, which is not really a symptom, it's just a, a point I was, I was gonna make, 36% of people that get UTIs end up having pinworm, which is actually quite interesting because it just tells us their environment is uh, very attractive for growing parasites. And so if you do have a history of UTIs, I have a very good video. I'm going to just put that in the section below. So here's the remedy, black walnut hulls. Now, where I live, it's you can walk down the street and find these. You can go in the park and find these. They're in your backyard. They're all over the place. So the hull is the kind of a green shell around the walnut. And it's very, very uh, bitter. It's very, very concentrated. And it has certain uh, elements that are really good to kill pinworms, ringworms, tapeworms. It's very antimicrobial. Now, you want to make sure that you use gloves because it will stain your hands for weeks. So what you want to do is you want to get these walnut hulls and you want to get several that are kind of soft, but they're not dark brown yet. And then you want to cut them in half, take the nut out. Okay, you can dry that for a couple of weeks and actually eat eat the walnuts, but what you're interested in is this hull, this surrounding green part, which you're going to put in a jar, okay, a quart wide mouth jar, and you're going to add a mixture of half alcohol and half water. I do recommend vodka, but you can also use apple cider vinegar. It's just not as strong, but the way that we made ours is with vodka. Now, inevitably, you know, every time I'm at the store, and buying something for research purposes, like vodka, inevitably someone's gonna be in there that has been watching my video. So I'm here I am in the liquor store, I'm uh, looking around, making sure no one sees me, and then I go right up to the, the lady at the checkout, and she goes, oh, Dr. Berg, I watch all your videos. And I'm like, okay, great. It's not what it looks like, okay? This is for experimental purposes. We're gonna, we're making a parasite cleanse, and she's looking at me like, you're making a parasite cleanse with vodka. Yeah, right. So no, she didn't believe me, but anyway, hopefully she's watching this video right now. So you're going to take a combination of alcohol and water, a one-to-one -one ratio, and you're going to basically pour it into this jar where you have several of these black walnut hulls, which are basically green because the hull is green and the actual nut is black. We're not using the nut. So basically we top it off. So we have all these hulls that are being bathed in this alcohol mixture. And the thing about the alcohol, it's going to help extract uh, these phenols, about 14 different powerful phytonutrients uh, that are very, very potent, seriously potent antioxidants, as well as having antimicrobial properties. So you're going to leave it in this jar, which you're going to put a lid on for about four weeks in a warm place. Don't keep it outside where it's cold because it's not going to work as well. And so you're just going to keep it there. And then at the end of a month, you're going to strain the fluid out. You're going to put this mixture in tincture bottles with a dropper. Then what you do is you just take one dropper full, whatever liquid comes up in the dropper, okay, and put that in a little glass of water and just chug that down once a day. Now, if your children have pinworms, okay, or tapeworms or ringworms, you can just use half of the dropper. Okay, 
So that way it'll be a bit more mild. Now there is a couple other things you can do. You can uh, use wormwood, garlic, and clove. They also work really good. You can even buy this in a supplement if you don't want to make it. But I'm really into making natural remedies from nature that um, don't really involve too much complexity. Now regarding black walnut hulls, there's some fascinating research that's being done by pharmaceutical companies for various remedies. So apparently uh, they get a lot of uh, ideas for certain properties from nature and then they extract them, they synthesize them and they patent them to come up with remedies. But why not just use something that mother nature has provided us? And so at a fraction of the cost, you can now make your own parasite tincture. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen my other video on parasites, I put it up right here. Check it out.